Hey everybody, welcome to the Wolf Pit. Today we're going to make a crawfish ravioli with a rich and savory Creole sauce. So let's get started. In a large mixing bowl, I'm going to add chopped, fully cooked crawfish tails along with some Creole seasoning, Parmesan cheese. Yeah, yeah, I know cheese and seafood aren't supposed to go together, but this is my recipe. And seasoned breadcrumbs. You can use a spoon if you like, but I'm going to use my hands to get this thoroughly mixed. Once everything is well combined and holds together, we're ready to stuff our ravioli. Yes, you are correct. That is not pasta. That is a wonton wrapper, and that's going to be our ravioli for today. Take about a teaspoon of the filling and put it right in the middle. And take your finger and brush on a little egg wash on the opposite corner. And just for fun, we're going to turn the first one into a tortellini. So fold it in half into a triangle and work out any air pockets. And then with the filled side of the ravioli facing you, take a little portion of it and fold it over. And then simply put your thumb in the middle, bring the two corners together, add a little egg wash to seal the deal, and that's it. That's all there is to it. Now with me being super lazy, I'm not going to make tortellini out of all of them. I'm just going to make regular triangle ravioli. So put your filling in the middle, brush on your egg wash, fold it over into a triangle, work out all the air pockets, and there you go. A very easy, very simple ravioli. After I do this 48 more times, I'll pop these in the fridge while we make the Creole sauce. The Creole sauce I'm using today is an Emerald Lagasse recipe. I will post a link to the recipe in the description. I'm going to start off with the Holy Trinity, bell peppers, onions, and celery. And to that, I'm going to add garlic, and I'm going to saute this down for about seven minutes. Now I'm going to add canned diced tomatoes, basil, oregano, and thyme, Creole seasoning, chicken stock, and Worcestershire sauce. Give this a good stir, bring it up to a simmer, and let it cook for 15 minutes with the lid on. Now I didn't like the finished color or texture, so I'm going to blend this all together with a stick blender. There we go, much better. And now I'm going to slowly stir in some room temperature butter. Now back to our ravioli. I have a pot of boiling salted water. I'm going to add our ravioli. And these will cook for two to three minutes at most. Once they float, give them about 30 seconds and they're done. And there you have it. Crawfish ravioli with a rich and savory Creole sauce. Of course, you can use whatever kind of seafood you like. You can use regular pasta for the ravioli. Use your imagination and make it how you like it. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you give this a try and we'll see you next time.